Hello and welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny Stewart and welcome to my South Texas Kitchen. Today we have a special treat for you. We're going to do a standing rib roast, a little bit different kind of a twist. What we've done is we've already smoked this uh, rib roast. And so we're going to take it, now we're going to slice it off, season it, and then take it out and put it on the grill. It's a fantastic way to do it. You still get the smoke from that long smoking that it did, long and slow. But we're going to throw it on a hot grill. And we can cook it to doneness. You know, usually a uh, rib roast is cooked medium rare to rare. Well, this way, some people that like theirs medium or a little more, you can put them on the grill and finish them off. But it's a neat way to do it. It adds a different little taste profile to it. And we hope you enjoy it tonight. Let me get our rib roast. There we go, about a half a rib roast. And the tray for our steaks we're going to slice off. Um, you can kind of pick the size you want. We're going to slice off a little small one at first. That edge is done a little bit more. We'll give this one to my wife. She doesn't eat them quite as rare as my son and I do. I'm going to cut this one about three quarters of an inch thick. All right, trim it off a little bit, a little bit of fat. Y'all can see it's a nice steak, be just the right size for her. Uh, sometimes people will cut off this end strip, there's a lot of fat on it, and I failed to mention that this is a boneless rib roast. Now for my son and I, we're going to go up about an inch, eh, maybe an inch and a quarter on ours. And I'm still going to have plenty of rib rolls left over for another occasion. But if you look at it, they're a nice medium rare right now. So we're going to get some grill marks on them, not, not cook them a whole lot more. But they're going to have a little extra seasoning on them, and the uh, hot grill is going to give them some great flavor. So let's trim off these ends. And this is Now, get them on our tray. Clean up our mess here just a little bit. Slide that to the side. All right, this coffee rub is going to work great uh, for what we're trying to do. We're trying to get uh, a little grilled flavor onto these uh, ribeyes. And we're going to have coffee, salt, pepper, garlic, some red chili flake, and some chili powder that's in this uh, rub that we made up. Anyways, right here. And we may get a close-up on this in a minute for you or on these steaks. But we're going to flavor these up, season them real good, and they're going to make a great meal this evening. Not a lot. If you hold your hand a little bit higher, it tends that the rub uh, spreads out a little bit more. So if you notice, I don't have my hands real close to the steaks. All right, we're going to flip them over. Now these steaks were already seasoned once. They had salt, pepper, and garlic when they were originally cooked. And so tonight we're just adding another layer of flavor on top by using these. Now what I'm going to do is kind of press this down in there so that they stick a little better. Alright, like I said, there's not a tremendous amount of rub because these steaks are already very flavorful. But we're going to take these outside and see if we can go down. It is cold tonight, so I'm going to stop and put a coat on. Believe it or not, we do get some cold weather here in South Texas. And we have a little cold snap going on. So I'm going to get my coat on, uh, get ready to go, and we'll take these out and put them in the grill in the outdoor kitchen. All right, let's get these going. Now, we're going to go about, only about three or four minutes on each side. We're going to let them go. So I'm going to go two minutes. I'm going to turn them for some nice hatch marks. And uh, that'll be a 90 degree turn. And then we'll flip them over about three or four minutes and try to get the other side. Oh, yeah, these are looking good.
Now remember, these steaks were pre-cooked. They had already been smoked before. So all we want to do is, is take it to where we have a nice, um, I want to say not quite warm center. We want to make the center a little bit warm, but we're going to take them up, get them with that warm center in them, and uh, they'll be ready to eat, and they're going to be excellent. All right, we're ready to flip these steaks, get them turned to the other side, and see if we can uh, heat up that side now. Oh yeah, they're starting to brown up real nice on the outside. They're going to be still though nice and medium rare on the inside because we sliced them so thick. So they're going to be fine. Let's look at this thin steak for the wife. And it's starting to look pretty good. Going to work on the hatch marks on it. They're still nice and hot. There we go. Oh yeah, still is tender. You look at my steak turner. Got a nice two-sided steak turner. Some people call these fajita turners. But usually they're either left-handed or right-handed. I uh, had a gentleman making these, and we were able to pick this up, so I saw it was great. Horns on the long horn, you can flip right-handed or left-handed. I'm left-handed, so it comes in handy for me. All right, here we go. we got some nice hatch marks going on these. These steaks are just about ready. We'll get them off. All right, here comes number two. There you go. We have some hatch marks on it. And what you have to realize is, if you want to pick up your steak and it's not turning loose, it's not quite done yet. When the, when the meat gets ready, it will turn loose from the grill and let you pick it up. And maybe we can zoom in on these two real quick and see how they turned out. Can we get a close up? All right, we're back in the kitchen. We have our side dishes going. We have some nice zucchini squash and cauliflower that we're going to add with our steaks tonight. But let's give them a slice and see how they turned out. Here we go. All right, they kind of went to a medium. Eh, maybe a little bit more than I wanted right there. But let's give them a try. Great, great ribeye. Without a doubt, it has a smoky flavor from the pit, has the grill, the coffee rub can, uh, came out fantastic. So, once again, a great meal from Texas Style Cuisine. Come back and, and view us again sometime. We want you to uh, put us on your favorites and see what we're posting up all the time. Have a great day from Texas Style Cuisine, Chef Johnny Stewart. We'll see you down the road.